Hello everyone, and welcome back to Sermana CT Prep. Today we're tackling chapter 12 of lines of the College Band of Math series. And let's get to question one. What is the equation of the line parallel to the y-axis and the three units to the right of the y-axis? So you know that a vertical line intersects the x-axis at three, and it should have an equation of x is equal to three. So the answer is B. In the figure above, the slope of the line through the two plotted points is one over three. What is the value of n? So what we can do here is to find the slope so we know that the slope is 1 over 3. And we can interpret this by plugging in the numbers we have. So n minus 1 over 5 minus minus 1. 1 over 3. n minus 1 over 6 is equal to 1 over 3. So n minus 1 is equal to 2. So n is 3. And the xy plane points uh, lie on line lie on line a and l w which of the following points is also on line l okay so what we can do here is to calculate the slope of line l so you can do this by calculating the y values subtracting them and also subtracting the x values together by doing so we get 3 over 9 or 1 over 3 and now we can use point intercept form the point slope form which is y minus y1 is equal to m x minus x1 it's crucial that you guys remember this formula and now we just plug in one of the y values and one of the x values and also the slope and we get 1 over 3x plus 6 which is the answer and at this point all we can do is just plug in the x coordinates and the y coordinates <coughs> <coughs> so at this point what we can do is to plug in each of the answer options and so let's just plug in uh, x is equal to 0 a and if you do so via y is equal to 6 so the answer is a the graph of the line l is shown in the xy plane above which of the following is an equation of a line that is parallel to l so we know that the graph goes up for every three units uh for every two units on the right right it's two three so the slope is three over two which means that a parallel line must have the same slope and the only option with the same slope here is uh, C, so the answer is C. <coughs> Moving on to question 5. The equation of two lines in the xy plane are shown above where A and B are constants. If the two lines intersect at 2, 8, what is the value of A? So if you know, we know that the two lines must intersect at 2, 8 and that both line it means that both line passes through to a right so what we can do is plug the points into the equation of the second line so y is equal to negative bx so y is 8 and x is 2 so b is equal to negative 4 and now we can just plug it in back to the first equation so 8 is equal to a 2 minus 4 so a is 6 so the value of a is 6 what is the slope of the line m in the figure above? So what we can do here is to calculate the slope, which is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And here we're simply giving the slope the coordinates of the y and the x values. So we can just simply solve like this. And we get negative 1 over 2. So the answer is b. Line l in the xy coordinate system above can be represented by the equation y is equal to mx plus b. Which of the following must be true? So from the graph, you can see that the slope is a positive slope and also the y-intercept is negative. Thus, we know that MB must be less than zero. So the answer is B. The line Y is equal to negative 2X minus 2 is perpendicular to line L. If these two lines have the same y-intercept, which of the following could be the equation of line on the L? So what we can do here is basically Uh, we know that the lot has a slope of negative 2, right? And also y-intercept of negative 2. So line L must have a slope that is the negative reciprocal of negative 2, which is 1 over 2. 
and since they have the same y intercept, the y intercept remains the same as negative 2. So the answer is D. The slope of L is 1 over 2, and it's the y intercept, it's 3. And what is the equation of the line perpendicular to line L that goes through 1 over 5, 1, 5? So we know that the line we're looking for. <coughs> So we know that the line we're looking for is a slope, uh, is a perpendicular to the line we're given. So we know that we have to look for a reciprocal, the negative reciprocal of the slope of 1 over 2, which is negative 2. So y is equal to negative 2x plus b. And now we have to find b. And we can just plug in 1 over 5, 1 and 5 for y and x. And we get 5 is equal to negative 2, 1 plus b. And b is equal to 7. And now we have y is equal to negative 2x plus 7, so the answer is b. A line with a slope of 2 thirds passes through the points 1 over 1, 4, and x10. What is the value of x? So again, we can just set this up by the slope formula. And then we get uh, that's equal to 2 over 3. So that is simplified to 6 over x minus 1 is equal to 2 over 3. And now what we can do here is to cross multiply. So we get 2 times x minus 1. And 6 and 3 is 18. So 2x minus 2 is equal to 18. 2x is 20. So x is 10. If fx is a linear function such that f2 is less than or equal to f3 is. And f4 is greater than or equal to f5. And f6 is equal to 10. Which of the following must be true? <coughs> So if f is a line, then f must be a flat line, right? Because that's the only way that both f2 is less than or equal to f3 and f4 is greater than or equal to f5 can be true. And since f is flat and f is equal to 6, when f is equal to 6, when, f, when fx is equal to 6 and the value of f, f, f6 is 10, then all the values of f should be 10. So no matter what it, the value of x is, the value the the result should be 10 so the answer is uh b wait d the equations of two perpendicular lines in the xy plane are shown above where a b c d and e are constants if zero is less is less than a over b and is less than one which of the following must be true so an easy way to approach this problem is to just make up numbers for a and b so let's just make a is equal to one and b is equal to two so a over v is one over two and now we know that the second line is perpendicular to the first. So d over e is equal to negative 2. And the only thing that satisfies this is a. So the answer is a. That is all for today. Thank you very much for watching. And I hope you guys stay tuned for the next chapter episode.